This camper van is a 2019 with a 118 inch wheelbase. It's a low roof and the smallest of the 1500 series ProMasters. I bought it brand new in late 2019 and I've gotten as much as 23 miles a gallon. I had it converted into a camper in early 2020 so I was very lucky with timing. It was before any supply chain issues and inflation. Before I even bought this low roof, I made sure to find a van builder willing to work in such a small space. Also get an estimate because some builders will do it but charge extra. That's because it's 5 foot 7 inches tall in here but after the ceiling and floor is put in it's 5 foot 3. Not a comfortable space to do a build, but perfect for a shorty like me. This was converted by Carolina Van Builders. He no longer will convert a low roof and he doesn't do total custom work anymore like you do with my van. He's in such high demand now, he can only do so much. But I got exactly what I wanted thanks to lucky timing. My bed is a twin size, which is enough for me and my dog. I love wood and earth tones. The cabinets are oak. The walls and ceiling are pine. The insulation is spray foam. I use a 2.6 gallon Camco cassette toilet. The toilet fits in the cabinet on the left, but I just leave it out. I'm in here alone. It's not really in the way. It's where I sit to put on my shoes. The driver's seat is on a swivel where I sit to eat or whatever I might need a table for. This is Shrimpy, and that's her window, not my window. I had three windows put in, and they may be my favorite thing about this van. I have a view on two sides when I'm on the bed, and a view from the swivel seat where I can enjoy a meal while looking at the scenery from the comfort of my space. I love it. And the window has a screen for fresh air. Under the sink is a five gallon water container. I use about seven gallons of water a week. Cooking supplies also under the sink next to the water containers. I have two drawers next to the bed for miscellaneous. The overhead storage is for my clothes. This tall cabinet is mostly food items and on the bottom I have an ice machine and various other supplies. My iPad is my television. Very comfortable space. I haven't felt the need for anything bigger than this. I car camped for a couple of years before moving in here so it feels very roomy compared to my Toyotas. Fantastic Fan is the brand name but it really is fantastic. When I open up the windows on both sides, the fan pulls the air in and cools down the temperature very quickly. Uses very little power too. That's a 13500 BTU Dometic air conditioner that I can use when I'm plugged into a campground. I attach that piece of wood onto my 12 volt refrigerator giving me a tabletop. On the very bottom here is a 700 watt microwave. And above that is my fridge, which not only doubles as a table, but also as a flip-flop holder. Which is the kind of thing you have to do when living in a small space like this. On top of the fridge is where I do my cooking, either with an induction cooktop or a toaster oven. The curtain is pulled to the side when I cook. Under the bed is the garage, as van dwellers call it. Everything I own is in this van. I have no storage unit anywhere. I live in here full time. Getting rid of years of stuff was a very long and difficult process, but I don't miss any of it. With the garage emptied, we can see my electrical, consisting of a Victron charge controller, which controls the solar power coming in from my 255 watt solar panel on the roof. That's a 3000 watt Victron inverter, so I can use almost 3000 watts of appliances simultaneously. The little white box is a Sterling B2B, so I can charge my house battery with the van engine if there isn't enough sun for the solar. The battery is a Renogy 170 amp hour lithium iron and that's a Wabasto heater which has gotten me through some very cold nights. On the outside of the van is a 30 amp inlet so I can plug into a campground for power. Up near my van roof is a security camera. It's actually the rear camera of a dash cam. I have one on all four sides of the van, and that's worked out very well. 
One thing that hasn't worked out is that I had the passenger seat removed and a chest of drawers installed with a crate on top for my dog. After two years, it was time for inspection. I had to put a seat back in to get the airbag light off to pass inspection. And I realized she was happier in the seat than in the crate. She's too reactive to be up high surrounded by windows when we're driving around. So the seat remains, which is fine because now I have a clear view out the passenger side window. My only regret of this van build is not having a low profile air conditioner installed. This one affects my clearance by making the van a foot taller. And I think it kills any stealthiness I might have had. It also just doesn't look good. But other than that, I have been living and traveling happily in this van for over two years now.